bridging time community event in historic Dublin. And actor Harry Waters Jr. from Back to the Future. I know you are so he excited. He sings this song, Earth Angel. Yep. I wanted this to be our song, the song we danced to at our wedding. And? I wanted no. it to. <laughs> Good day, Columbus reporter Lisa Henry. She is live with Harry in uh, Dublin. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Good morning, that's right. You can see the DeLorean time machine right here behind me from tothefuture.org, the Michael J. Fox Parkinson Research Foundation. And this, of course, is Harry Waters Jr. And when you come out today for the event, you can meet Harry. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, it's lovely to be here in Dublin. On my bucket list, I can now check that off. Check, checking that <laughs> off. Now, thinking back to about, what, 30 years ago when the show was first being made, what drew you to the role of Marvin Berry? That I had to sing. And nobody told me that I was going to get to sing Earth Angel, Whoa. but the fact that this song came up and Alan Silvestri said, do you want to record it? Mm -hmm. I went, sure. And I got a gold record out of this. Wow. Because the album went gold with Power of Love and Etta James is on that album and Huey Lewis and me. So I'm really excited about that. And of course, uh, how has this movie and being a part of that movie, being a part of that trilogy, how has that impacted your life? all these years later. Well, for one thing, I teach at McAllister College. I'm mm -hmm. the chair of the theater and dance department. Is that my students actually believe I know what I'm doing. Right. Because <laughs> I've been a professional for many years before I wintered, entered into academia. So I'm really grateful for it. But once again, it was a great job mm -hmm. at the time because I got to do this amazing film. Mm -hmm. I had a choice between this and a TV series. The TV series never happened. Whoa. But 30 years later, this is still going on. So we're really quite grateful for you this You definitely made the thing. right choice. Now, yeah. do you have a relationship with Michael J. Fox? Um, occasionally, he will call. I get to go to some of the events. Mm -hmm. But especially this last... 30-year anniversary. We've done a couple of events together that are a lot of fundraising for Team Fox as well, you know, as any other charities that we get around the country and the world. The last year was probably the most amazing. Um, I went to seven different countries wow. as well as a Back to the Future cruise to in Parkinson's. So it was quite an event. That is awesome. Now you played Marvin Berry, yeah. the fictional Chuck Berry's cousin. Have yeah. you met Chuck Berry in real life? That's my next bucket list thing. I need to get to <laughs> okay. St. Louis. Chuck, I'm really sorry. It's not my fault. I didn't write it, but I'm happy to meet you there. <laughs> nice. Now you're famous, of course, for Earth Angel. Our anchor Adam was mentioning that he wanted that song sang at his wedding. Can you give us a taste? I know you want people to come out to the event to meet you today, but can you give us a taste of Earth Angel? Well, I'll let you know that Janet said she wants people to come to Bridging Time, you know, okay. the Dublin Arts Council. But if you do, you might hear this. I fell for you, and I knew the vision of your love's loveliness. I hope and I pray that someday I'll be the vision, the vision of your happiness. Whoa. I mean, I could cry right now. Oh. <laughs> Got chills. Harry is awesome. Please be mine. And that's what we're going to do for today. Awesome. That <laughs> now that's so a great, great teaser. Thank you so much, Harry, for talking with us. Oh, amazing. Guys. Harry Waters Jr., everyone. Thank you guys so much.